all right, if I was truly, truly a disabled individual and I wasn't able to pick this off the ground, my dog would have to pick it up and hand it to me. Moose, give. I don't want to stick. Vest. Five, four, three, two, one. Now he's going all the way up for me for my comfort's sake. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on. He knows how it goes. Okay. And if you remember our shot from last time, we can look at the buckle and say, oh, something must be wrong. And no, the buckle would, um, I must be inside out. If you look, the label is on the wrong side. So, we just pulled it off of him. Which way we got it, Moose? We got the right way. I can't touch my toes. Moose doesn't know that I can really do that. Okay, so we gotta get the thing all twisted outside again. Alright, which way we got it? Okay. So the easiest way. No, it's not on. It's still it's too inside out, Moose. No, so it's inside out. On this, there's this big giant clip here that we use for all of our shows and what we do. This is how you control your dog. This is the gear shift. This is for redneck terms. This is your transfer case. Okay, here we go. So now, again, it's backwards. So we grab it by the transfer case. We yank it off of them. And you simply just turn it inside out. Okay. It's the way the loop looks like now. And you put it right back on. Now mind you, when you first get them, they're a little stiff. Okay. And so that's that. And then we put it on. Now that was on the outside one. Now we're going to put it on the inside one. Because today, he's trained. But now, if I was doing something, I was training him something new, or as a situation, I didn't want him to, to, to be as foolish. This is training mode. And this is where you need to have your puppies put in at and your young dogs put in at. And now I don't have that one all the way through. But with that one there, you take the zip tie. Well, first I take a, do a simple saddle knot. Okay. And you can do a zip tie and lock it in. And so once it's locked in, He's not going to get out of that. And of course, people are going to come up to you and say, isn't that tight? Well, first of all, if you're letting people touch your dog while he's in training, you're wrong. You're not in training. you are got an advanced pet. And uh, Mr. Moose, right now, is an advanced pet, but he's also a training dog. So, how do we use the rest of it? Well, the rest of it is very easy. We put this on him. Okay, Atta not attached to the to here. It's not attached. Okay, so we have this. Okay, and we want to take control of the dog. We have this. Now the difference is, is when I'm doing when I have him in this, he can still be on a long leash or low short leash. This is considered. No, no, no. You get back up there. This is cons you stay. You stay. No one told you to get down. Sit. Oh, it's wobbly, huh? Is it wobbly, huh? Is it wobbly? Wobbly, huh, huh, huh? You got your sea legs? Got your sea legs? All right, you stay. Okay, now, when it's in this way here, I'm in control, and I, and I can tell him what to do. I can do the same thing with... See, he's thinking on some... Okay, stop. Okay, now I'm gonna put him back in to lead mode. Now,
Now, he's lead mode. Now, with Ridgebacks, especially Ridgebacks, they have to be in lead every once in a while. So he's going to have to teach, he's going to have to take me back to my truck, to my van. We're just going to just mess with him a little bit. He may not be quite done yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, the next thing that we do is we take a carabiner clip. Now, this one happens even my my key, so... And we clip it on like such. Okay? If you're in a an event um, that... Well, if you're in a really tight event, then you're going to flip this over this way. Okay? But you can use either way. They both have... They both serve different purposes for when you have... To, if you truly cannot reach down and, and pick him up comfortably how you can release him if you must. Okay. And what do I mean by release him? Well, he's also trained to be a protection dog. And so, um, he will defend you. If you treat him correctly, he will defend you like you would not believe. Now, this is what we call a short leash. Okay. It's also a tie leash.